Nearly 100 people paint this scene in watercolour. How different can they be? Which ones do you like and why? Hello, I'm Tim Wilmot, watercolour painter and tutor. I regularly organise online watercolour workshops and this is a compilation of attendee paintings from July 2022 online workshop. So nearly every month watercolour enthusiasts from all over the world join me for a couple of hours paint along experience where I do a step-by-step -step live demo and try and answer your questions along the way. Last month we painted this scene Gloucester Keys uh, in the UK. A sunny day. We're looking at the, well, as you can see there, the National Waterways Museum, a quite a, a large, imposing building, a little bit of a contrajour against the light. Lovely little bit of glistening of the water surface as we're looking towards light, bit of movement on the water surface as well. And then there's a few small boats moored up here on this side of the, the quay. In the distance, another building, quite a nice sky to, to deal with as well. So, yeah, we had a, a really good time painting this scene, this sort of almost uh, an industrial type scene with a little bit of water thrown in uh, and those boats. So it's really interesting to see everyone's interpretation. I'll short, shortly show you my version, my, uh, my painting on the day. And then I'll go through all of the other attendee paintings that are submitted to me. Not everyone submits a painting. Um, not everyone wants to, to share this for whatever reason, but those who have shared them, I'll go through those one by one in alphabetical order and try and, in my opinion, it's just my opinion, um, point out the, the positives and uh, maybe the things that, that could be improved on next time round. So hopefully you like that. If you want to take part in future workshops, just go up to crowdcast.io. Crowdcast is the platform I use the system I use for the live demos uh, where you where you can watch me live and you get a recording of it. You can play back that recording as many times as you want to. And as we're doing here, we, we uh, I'll cover a, a, I'll give you a quick critique of uh, every painting that I've uh, had been given to me um, as a short little bit of feedback for those that took part. Yes, yeah, so go to crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot. Should have put the Tim Wilmot back on because that's my that's my location, Tim Wilmot, T-I-M-W-I-L-M-O-T. Hopefully see you on future workshops. As I said, I'll start off with mine first. I kept fairly true to the source photo with the the building, the museum, right in front of us, there on the other side of the the water, the effect of the light hitting the water between the building and us, then about five boats or so moored up here with their tarpaulins just catching the light as well, a bit like the water. The key side here, I omitted that there was a on the right hand side over here. There's a modern building. I don't think it did much for the composition, so I. I decided not to include that. Sometimes, or quite often, I do include figures as well in my in my scenes, particularly a scene like this. But trying to keep it simple, um, I was discussing on on the event. Maybe I could put a, a few figures in here. Well, it looks like there's almost a figure there. In my sort of loose style of painting. Sometimes things appear to you as you on reflection when you go back to look at the painting. Uh, but no, no, this one was figureless for me. Um, and then the background, background buildings there, a bit of light catching some of the rooftops and the quayside in the distance and that atmospheric sky as well. And you'll notice my, my little dabs of blue just to give the impression of those, those little bits of blue decoration on some of the windows. So that's mine my effort and I'll now go through the attendee painting in alphabetical order. First of all then Anna and I think most people actually kept to my composition design. I think you got the perspective really good. There's a little bit of a dip in that um, far rooftop edge but very good perspective. You've got in these boats here, the nearby boats really well. Love the, the brush marks 
on this right-hand side, key side as well. Really nice sky as well. Yeah, well done, Anna. Fantastic. And uh, next one is Bob. Let's just zoom in a bit. Oh, I love that bit of granulation. Let's zoom into that lovely granulation on that building. Very, very nice. Gives it a nice sort of rich, uh, it's a nice rich warm color and a nice texture to it as well. Yeah, a very good perspective as well. Like the sky. With the boats, let's just zoom into the boats. The boats, yeah, they're all right. They're maybe just a little bit too narrow. Good job on the water, though. Very nice. Um, and the right-hand side, key side, maybe it goes up just a little bit too much. Perhaps if it just finished around about there, that might be a bit better. Barb on that one. Uh, and Barb got in the bunting. The <laughs> a bit of attention to detail. Uh, nice sort of filling in on that on that left hand side, but a, a few little flags there flying in the wind uh, because it was a windy day when I took the photo. Thanks so much, Barb. Barbara, now this is a different interpretation. You've gone a little bit lighter on those buildings in the background, changed the scene around. Looks like from a perspective point of view, we're looking down on the scene. I'm not sure if that was your intention, Barbara, because the, the figures on the right-hand side, it, that sort of emphasises a bit the height of the heads of those figures and those. It looks like we're looking down on the scene a little bit. So just watch that if, if that was your intention. I like that water, though. It's certainly got a bit of a, a glassy feel to it. Yeah, nice interpretation. Thanks very much, Barbara. And next one is Becky. Very loose. Uh, looks like you've used uh, quite a few dry brush marks on that building. I like I like the the way that you've created the impression of those windows, the 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 darks and the blues, rather than doing every single every single window. And you captured that it was some kind of industrial thing down there on the right hand side on the the end of that key. You you, you caught that from the photo. The water has got. Particularly on the left-hand side, it's got a lovely sense of movement to it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, well done. Thanks very much, Becky. And Betty. Let's just zoom into this one. Betty. Now, you've so you've made a feature of that right-hand side, and the buildings on the right were ultra-modern compared to the rest of the these old sort of warehouse-type buildings. Uh, but you've you've actually made them look similar, which I think is very clever. Yeah, well done uh, on, you know, include those buildings. It's sort of a nice frame on the right-hand side, moved everything to the left. Maybe this main building here is a little bit too narrow. It's not as chunky, and uh, we, can't, we can't see the tops of them as well, which was a little bit difficult. Um, I think mine, actually, I, I cut the top off as well. Could have got a bit more of a light... Betty, on, on some of these rooftops and with the water. Oh, you've got some ducks in there. Or some, <laughs> some geese or some ducks flying up, uh, uh, swimming up the, uh, the canal. Nice touch. Um, yeah, could have got a bit more light onto the rooftops and that water, but on that lovely picture. Um, Bronwyn. Again, we've got a, a feeling of texture. I'm not sure if the perspective is right, Bromin, on that building there. Looking at the angles of that rooftop, all right, and this this roof here should be going down a little bit like that, okay? And then as we get to eye level, it might be a little bit more horizontal. Uh, I think that would look a little bit better. But nice texture on that building. Great water. Those boats are fantastic. You've got them nicely, nicely proportioned and uh, they're very well drawn and good, strong edge to this right hand side, that key side, very strong edge there that looks nice. Thanks, Bronwyn. Uh, Charter. Yeah, again, another nice one with the textural effect of the, the way that you've painted that building and a little bit of coolness as we come down. Down to the water's edge, very impressionistic. I like the way you've done the water. 
and the bit of light hitting the surface, these boats here as well. Excellent. Very got a lot of atmosphere in it, very moody. Uh, with the tops of the rooftops, maybe try and go for a, a sharper point. Like you've got a point there, that works well, but maybe there could be a bit of a sharper point there. And then also there on that um, on that building there as well. But very nice, well done. And Ching. Zoom in here. Uh, Ching, right. Perspective. And that's the thing I'm going to look at, really. I think uh, in a lot of these, it is a good exercise in perspective and different watercolour techniques, trying to get that light hitting the surface and the light, the feeling of light hitting the rooftops as well. Uh, perspective, let's deal with that first of all. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good to me, far side and this side. Um, with the building, it looks like it's a little bit overworked with some of the details. And with the windows, perhaps not the feeling of perspective of, of the sort of building going down that right-hand side. But other than that, it's nice colours. Um, You've got those those far boats in there, these nearby boats. Those boats are really good. Yep, very nice indeed. And the nearby quayside here, yeah, excellent. Perhaps that line at the back could be just a little bit, <laughs> unlike the way I did it, just a little bit straighter, perhaps. Uh, that might give it a, a strong sort of edge, a strong line on that on that uh, background waterline that might look a little bit better yeah nice one ching well done and christy oh christy's got some figures in well done christy and the shadows are going the right way as well yeah so you've got the light sort of coming from the uh, almost from the middle of the of the scene uh we've got a little bit maybe a little bit of a lean on that building there but other than that really good perhaps these windows could be just a little bit wider they look a tiny bit too thin very good buildings on the background you've got the feeling of that that uh, big long barge there that was uh, just below the below the museum and then these boats on this side you've you've made them a bit longer i think uh, from the photo which works well uh, particularly this nearby boat that's a lot longer and I think what works well on this one is the sense of that tarpaulin being stretched across the, the top of the sort of ridge down the middle. You, you, you spotted that and you captured that really well. Nice bit of light as well in the surface. Yeah, well done, Christy, and well done for getting those figures in. Uh, Connie. Uh, Connie, again, maybe uh, like some, a few others, uh, just watch that right-hand side and the the right-hand key side going up a little bit too high. Um, just watch that. Perspective, though, is generally good. Uh, maybe this seems to have caught a few people out. Maybe the, the, the top ridge there could go down just a little bit more, something like that. That would look a little bit better from a perspective point of view. It uh, might be just a little bit too much of the white stuff, bit of, bits of the paper showing through in the distance. So maybe tone, consider toning that down a bit, glazing over it a little bit. Boats on the whole are quite good. There's nearby boats, good. Yeah, good job on the boats and the water as well. Yeah. With the water... Perhaps some of these lines, we could have more of a sort of horizontal feeling to some of those lines rather than it going sloping up like that. That might look a little bit better. What well on Connie and Corinne. Well, it's quite a soft look to this side. That The value of this side compared to the water is a similar. Value. We could have gone perhaps a tiny bit dark on that right-hand side. Boats, I think, are a little bit too long, especially this one here. Buildings, though, are very good. Just be careful of a little bit of overworking just uh, on the building colour itself. 
maybe you used a small brush or something like that. Uh, so to, it just on the verge of being a little bit too overworked. But the drawing is good. And it's a, it's a different take on the lighting as well. Maybe it's got the appearance more of a, a, almost like a winter's day in a way with that sky, I think. Yeah, really nice and a, a slightly different interpretation. Thanks very much, Corinne. And Dan, different style again, almost like a liner wash in a way. Very loose, like the people. So you've got the people in and the building on the right-hand side. I like the way you've done that building, that modern building on the right-hand side. Just a few lines, Dan, works really well. And, you're, and, the, and the way that you've done the museum and you've got in a little bit of a signage there, very loose way of doing that signage, not too exact. And also attention to detail, some of these little clock towers and details on those buildings on the left. Yeah, very nice. Well done, Dan. Thank you. And Daniel. Right. Well, I like the blue that you've got. You've repeated the blue uh, on the building on the left-hand side, then this figure here, and then on the right-hand side as well. Background. Kept that quite... Now, that background, I think this... I can see what you're trying to do. You're trying to make sure that you include the buildings, the tops of the buildings within the scene. So you've made this main building here a little bit lower and the, the background one, maybe it looks a little bit higher with the perspective, which is all right if that's what you're aiming to do. Uh, you've made a feature of that big boat there. I think it might be just a little bit too dominant in the scene. And also we might be losing where the Water's edge might be on the left-hand side there, to the left-hand side of the of the barge. So perhaps that area there could be a little bit darker, just to bring the water's edge down a bit, and then connect that connect that with that long barge. But well done for getting those people in. I love that blue, and you've got some birds in as well, birds flying around, which you you would see uh, up there uh, on Gloucester Keys. Thanks so much, uh, Daniel. Uh, that's Daniel M. And here's another Daniel to zoom into this. You have to, you have to excuse that a lot of the photos, they're obviously done with the contributor's camera, which might be a phone or a camera. So they're going to be different resolutions, different lighting situations. So you have to try and compensate that. Now this one, um, we've got more of a sort of squarish dimensions on this one. And... It's got a great sense of light. I love the pattern of the light across the, the water there, Daniel. It's very effective the way that you've got that, almost like a crescent shape of, of light coming across the water. And the brightness, the brightness of that light there hitting that lower building, brilliant. And notice how Daniel kept that building really simple, just a few windows. And uh, so we, we can see, we, we get the impression of all the windows, but we just need to put in a few of them, get the, the background really uh, li lighter in value and a very moody sky. Yeah, fantastic. Well done, Daniel. And Dave P. I think there. Have I got two Dave P's? That would be a different Dave than that one. Okay, two Dave P's. Right. Um, oh no, this is this looks like a DJ D David Jones. Anyway, um, I might have I might have noted it wrong when I when I received it. Right, Dave. Hopefully, I got the right Dave. Um, yeah, perspective is good. You've made a more of a feature of these boats here. Um, might be just a slight lean up of those boats, perhaps just a little bit too much. But I like the way you've done the water, you've got those bit of a glistening on the surface. Very, very good indeed. We haven't got that shadow coming across the, you know, with the light coming from in front of us. Maybe there could be a bit of a shadow coming over there. But other than that, it's really, really nice. Oh, actually, you know, if I if I look at this correctly, you've got the light coming on like that so perhaps your sun is going to be over there my crew drawing of a sun perhaps your sun could be coming more that way very nice guy good job on the birds as well yeah well done dave that's dave number one 
This is, this is Dave number two. This could be Dave P. Right. Oh, I, li I like that cloud. Look at the top of that cloud. Maybe it was accidental, Dave. Maybe you wanted it, but that is fantastic. My eyes is, immediately went to that. Very atmospheric and that uh, bright light hitting the top of that cloud. The drawing is very good. Yeah, I think you've got the perspective pretty good on this. I think the background at the base is a little bit too overworked with, perhaps you use quite a small brush, Dave. Um, maybe consider using a larger brush and just make it all, I would, I would make a lot of this, um, the details a little bit dark and less of these, less of these light, little lighter lines that you've got in the little light um, horizontal marks, less of that. Uh, possibly could have made the boats just a little bit bigger to compensate that and move, maybe move the boats up just in, move the boats up into that kind of area there. I think that might help the composition just a little bit more. But really nice. I like these brush marks that you got on this side, the, the details on the key side. Yeah, very good. I do like that. <laughs> that light hitting the cloud. Very effective. Thanks, Dave. Dave number two, Doris. Right, let's zoom in here. Yeah, light, I love the, the colour that you've got into the the big warehouse. You've got a bit of, sort of red and oranges, and obviously the blue with those windows. Perspective is very good, Doris. Well done. Uh, you've kept the, the barges here really simple, and a bit of that blue. You've continued that blue or a sort of lavender onto the tops of those boats. Down here on the left, I think these lines here could be a little bit more horizontal. The, you know, these, these, these lighter areas here, perhaps with the key side on over there, we've got more of a, almost a horizontal there. That's the top of the key side. Then we've got the water's edge there a little bit like that. But here, that could be a little bit lighter. Keep it simple, in other words. Um, less of the overworking on that side. Very nice sky, the Doris, well done. Oh, lo yeah, I love that sky. It's brilliant. Bit of wet and wet there, very effective. And Ed. Yeah, this has got uh, a lot of atmosphere in this. That sky is very loose indeed. Perhaps the, the perspective is not, no, the perspective is all right, actually. I was thinking with the, uh, the, the tops of these, these gable windows or these, these, these extensions here, maybe that could be just a little bit better drawn, but it's all right. And that bit of opaque gray color, that's very effective as well. I do like that, Ed. This, this, is, this is lovely. Um, the movement in the water, the colors that you've got in there, that blue, the red, uh, the, the, the green color here, beautiful. And the key side as well. I, I thought with the, with the perspective, maybe just watch the key side. It looks like it's going a little bit wider in the distance, but it sort of adds to the, the liveliness of, of this painting. Yeah, fantastic sky. Well done, Ed. And Fausia. Now, Fausia, watch the perspective here. It looks like we're leaning to the left-hand side. On the left, we need to be a little bit more horizontal, all right? A little bit more horizontal there, um, if you see what I mean. So that could be almost, well, maybe a little bit lower the water's edge. Bring the building up a little bit higher on that left-hand side. And then watch the perspective on those buildings. So just, just work on your perspective a bit. Love the colours though. Let's get rid of that drawing. Love the colours. I like those, those lines that you've got, these vertical lines. They're quite effective as well. Doesn't need this, the, the way that you use some white paint. Trouble with the white paint sometimes, if you have a little bit too much water on it, it goes that sort of chalky colour. And it goes all sort of weak. Um, it doesn't have the same impact as as a maybe a strong thicker white boats are well drawn though as well could have could have left the tops of boats a bit lighter 
And well done for getting in the right-hand side, those modern buildings. Yeah, thanks very much, Fauzia. Thank you. And Helen. Again, Helen, Fauzia, just watch your perspective. The It looks like we are a little bit too high up as, as regards where the viewer might be and also a bit of a slope on that on that far on that far edge of the water so let me just try and show you where where i i might um, make some corrections so if you did this again uh, so that that back edge of the water horizontal and then maybe start with the key side, the top of the key side on this side. So it may be more slightly horizontal, okay? And then, like I did with Fauzia, and then just watch these angles as well. I think it's, it's good to get one line correct, and then in relation to that line, just think where everything else. You think you're pretty close on that, that main warehouse building. That's a lot better. That, that looks really good. That angle there. Very good. Uh, so just watch that. Boats, apart from the fact that we're looking down, they look really good, fantastic. And you've got the the uh, nice shine of the uh, nice glistening on the surface of the water and a bit of reflection of the warehouse as well. Yeah, excellent. And lovely sky. Well done, Helen. Thank you. Uh, next, go to Ina. And that's a, that's a good idea for a drawing board or a painting board to have those, have those lines up there because that could be really useful when you when you're doing a composition. So you you got instantly you you know where that you know where that middle oops you know where that middle line is, and then maybe you can you can detect where the where the thirds are as well. Um, so you you know you're trying to get some some objects on those on those third lines good idea excellent this is beautiful i like the light on this and the simplicity of the building on the right hand side that modern building the lights coming out over the top that helps the composition just sort of caressing the scene there those figures are excellent the perspective is very very good on this that the granulation on that background building, fantastic. You've got a bit of a quirky, um, I like this. You've got that quayside coming out there. There's sort of a platform or a little, little pontoon or something. Uh, kept it really simple and very fresh, nothing overworked. Yeah, excellent. I like also a bit of a sort of bump in the surface. It gives it a sort of oldie worldy feel which i'm not sure if this key side the right hand side of the key side has been has been reconstructed but that adds to the certainly adds to the character of the place well done Ina. thank you isabel very nice guy and the way that you've done the water the lines in the water it really does drag the eye from left to right up the scene very effectively the perspective is very good. Those boats are very well drawn indeed. Love the sky. Really like the, the, the brush, work, brush work on the key side here, on the right-hand side. And the uh, stones on the, on the edge of the water. Perhaps a little bit too much detail on the left-hand side, like I pointed out before with one of the others. Just too many lines over there. Lovely dark building. Yeah, well done. And I, I like that sky there. Just that patch there looks like there's something, some climatic, um, <laughs> some climatic uh, situation occurring there. Uh, lovely cloud formation. Beautiful. Well done, Isabel. And Joe. Oh, nice and simple. Very bold. Different style. I like the, the way that you, it looks like you've lifted out a bit of the watercolour to get that little bit of lightness there, Joe. I think that's very effective to give the structure of the building. You haven't bothered with those windows. Uh, the perspective sort of looks all right. I think we might need a little bit of the rooftop there from that left-hand side. That would work a bit better. 
but nice, nice and simple, very bold. Boats could be a little bit wider, possibly. Yeah, very nice. Well done, Joe. And John, oh, there's got John D there, but there's only one John. John, very nice. All the, look at all the colours that John's got into that building. Very impressionistic. Beautiful. That sky as well. Um, now, now, I know John, he uses dry brush marks quite effectively, and that, that comes out on this, and it's sort of emphasised a little bit with the rough paper uh, texture surface. Yes, that building is fantastic, John, and the coming down to the barge, the, the, I should say the perspective is very, very good on this. I like that. You've extended this lower building here a little bit more, but that, that's very effective the way it goes more into the scene. Boats are really good as well. Perhaps we could add a little bit more light on this side, just a little bit more light. But I love the light, that the contrast, that light, that dark there. Very effective. Well done, John. A lot of atmosphere. And Joy. Yeah, nice and soft. Now, you've, you've got a, a lovely feeling of light here. You've made this right-hand side a little bit wider, resisted the temptation to get in those modern buildings, which <laughs> I, I didn't want to do. So you kept this quite light and fresh. Uh, I like the the water is fantastic, and you spotted that some sort of a cruiser boat or pleasure boat on the far side going up and down the waterway. The perspective is very very good indeed. No, you you aren't one for hard edges. I don't. We've got a hard edge there, but a lot of the other edges are quite soft. That's that's your style, and it works really well. Nice sky. Yep, certainly the feeling of certainly the feeling of brightness in this one. Well done, Joy. And Kazim. Excellent drawing. Perspective is 100 percent brilliant on this. Very, very good indeed. Nice feeling of light, nice warm colours. I think your fo your photo is a little bit out of focus, which I think mine was actually on reflection. Mine was a little bit out of focus, but we can see what's going on. I like the way that you've done the windows, all the colours, like, like John's building, that cool blue there. Uh, and then we're going down into the red and the darker colour at the base of the building. Very, very nice indeed. Excellent, Kazim, thank you. Lanny. Zoom in here a little bit. Another lively one, good atmosphere. Maybe some of the, there's too many brush marks on that left-hand side. Although it, it does have that quite a nice effect of leading your eye into the scene and it sort of replicated those brush marks, replicated with the reflections, the, the light glistening in the middle. Perspective is brilliant, though. Very well done. Don't think we need that that boat. There's too much detail in it, and it's a little bit too light as well. I would say lose that boat. Just keep it really simple in the background. And with the sky, the sky's nice. That left-hand side, nicer, but just watch a tiny bit of overwork on that right side, just ever so slightly. But other than that, it's a brilliant painting. Nice sense of light. Really nice. Yeah, excellent. Thanks very much, Lanny. And Laurie. Now, Laurie, we've got here a nice combination of edges. I'm immediately struck by the softness over here. Look, it almost gives the appearance of a, a bright day. And yet the, the rain, there's some rain clouds coming in or, or the, the rain is just... Uh, disappearing and we've got the light coming in from the left that's what it looks like to me very loose we just got the impression of something going on there in the middle and over on the right hand side in the background very good perspective well done um just be careful with not going over the shadows maybe a couple of times but i, I think you've got away with it lovely granulation 
and colours on that building, a bit of the blue. The key side might be going up just a little bit, just a tiny bit too much on that right hand side. It might need to sort of somehow end up there. And also, I wouldn't bother with the detail. I'm not sure if that's like a a boy in the in the water. I would I wouldn't bother with that. There's too much detail on the left hand side. What well a Laurie. Good job on the perspective though. And Lillian. Oh, we've got um, a figure and dog. Now that dog might look a little bit better if it's on the other side of that figure. What do you think? Um, from a composition point of view, it's right on that. It's right on the sort of edge of the paper. Like that sky. That sky's fantastic. The cloud, the cloud formation, the the blue that you've got in there. The building as well. It might be just a bit of a slight lean on that building, ever so slight. But other than that, perspective is very good. Very good job on the boats. Just zoom in a bit. Yeah. Very nice figure though. Just just need to swap the dog. So that dog was kind of there. We've got actually you could have another dog, couldn't he? <laughs> you could have two dogs, uh, which a lot of people do. Um, yeah. Well done. Lynn. Ah, figures. That, that that's a good place for some figures. One standing, one on the boat. There's a there's a story going on here of some bags being handed to the figure of the boat. Maybe his hat's just a little bit too big, but a really nice placement of the figures. The background building, I think, has got these buildings in the back, they've got a little bit too much of the, the white bits of paper showing. I think it's white paper, not white paint. And I would go with less detail at the base of the building as well. Also, perspective... That angle there could be just a little bit steeper going down. Nice sky though, Lynn. That sky is fantastic. Both on the right, looks a bit more ominous on the right hand side. And then a little bit brighter on the left. But, but again, that lovely granulation. That one of the, the effects of watercolour, that granulation or some, some, some pigments. Yeah, nice story though. They've good placement of those two figures. Really, really good. Well done, Lynn. And another Lynn, Lynn with an E. Yeah, really nice light Lynn coming on the the uh, glistening of the the surface and the shape. A nice sort of a nice sort of organic shape to that glistening. Perspective is very good. Sky, lovely. You've made the boats a little bit bigger or a, la a larger grouping of boats. I think that works really well. Yeah, this is very, very nice. Uh, just the right level of detail on the right-hand side as well with the gaps between the stones and the, the key side. Yeah, excellent. Nice colour on the water. Blue here, light. Then a little bit of that brown with the reflection of the building. Excellent. And Mark, let's zoom in on Mark's. Yeah, every, everyone's pictures of different dimensions and sizes and uh, the photos, so sometimes I have to zoom in a little bit. Uh, now, I don't think we're quite right on that main building. You, you got the general composition right and the perspective on the whole right. Um, so on the right-hand side here, excellent. I love that yellow. Very good. I love that colour, yellow against the... the the warmth of the red, and then we're uh, we're contrasting that with a sort of complementary blue, and then the water, lovely colours in there as well. Yes, I think it's just that building, and also then with the sky, creating a border of that lighter area around the building. So the skies could be in future, I would say, take just lose that light border around buildings. All right, take the sky up to the rooftops or the, the side of a building just to get that continuity a bit more and it doesn't and also here that light a bit around that building bring the sky down to it but yes make it lighter on the horizon generally darker at the top 
lighter down towards the bottom, but just get that that uh, graded, like a graded wash. Dark and then light down towards the bottom. Boat's really good. Yeah, lots of lovely colours in that one. Well done, Mark. Uh, Mary. Now, this the Mary's photo, I think, is a little bit dark. I bet the I bet the picture in reality is a lot brighter than this. That glistening the surface is fantastic. This is very loose, very well drawn. That sky is beautiful. The the warms and the cools that you've got in there. The the the, the boats here, they're they're pretty well drawn, but maybe just get in more of a curve to those boats, particularly this one here. Um, so perhaps a little bit of a curve on that side, on the far side, but maybe more of a curve on this side. If you get my if you get my drift, if you understand me. Um, but I think this is a beautiful painting. Uh, the key side here is going up a little bit too high on the right hand side, so it could finish. The end of it could be there where it, it does actually disappear around the right hand side behind. There's this modern building on the right, and it sort of disappears around to the right up the um the water continues over to the right but the sky fantastic the glistening of service also fantastic well done mary and nidia perspective is very good sky is fantastic lovely sky very good boats as well with the perspective of the key side here, yes, perspective. Perhaps the far side just needs a little bit, little bit more horizontal. I like all the lights there. It's not too fussy. The water's edge, brilliant. Yes, I think that um, perhaps on that far side just needs to be a little, just ever so slightly more horizontal. And then the, on the right hand side, key side, the, the stones on the edge, perhaps they could just go a little bit narrower in the distance, just to help with the perspective in the distance. Uh, well done. Thank you, Nidia. Let me get rid of my drawing tool. Pablo, oh, this is excellently drawn. Now that's that, that this is that horizontal. Look at that strong line. Fantastic. X. This is so well drawn. You've spent a lot of time doing this, Pablo. Well done. And you've got that right-hand building in as well. You've really paid attention to, let me just zoom a bit. You've really paid attention to those lines. It looks a little bit empty to me. There needs to be something in there and maybe something over there. And then also on the far side, I think with with it being so clean and... You, where, where we can see the detail of the building, perhaps there could be some figures in here just to give it uh, a little bit more of um, a friendly feel rather than it being sort of too stark and almost like Armageddon has, has happened and <laughs> there's nobody left. Uh, maybe get some figures in there or possibly some, some ballards or something on this right-hand side here just to fill in. Perhaps there could be some lines as well. But that that building is super. You must have been an architect. You, you, you either are an architect or you must have been an architect to draw, it, to draw it so well. Brilliant. Excellent. Well done, Pablo. I think Pablo gets the, uh, the prize for the top drawing. Uh, Ravi. Now, Ravi, there's a bit of a slope on the perspective here, but I do like the colours. That sky is beautiful. Uh, perspective is generally good. We need to have a little bit more of the building, the, the top of the roof showing there. The light Pablos. Uh, perhaps a little bit more horizontal there. On the right-hand side, we could be going up just a little bit more on that side. And then, it, and then I think it would look less of us looking down on the scene and we're more the viewer is standing actually on the key side but the colors are beautiful that sky is fantastic the 
variation that you've got in the, the, the values in that building. Wonderful. Yeah, very lively. Got a lot of atmosphere. Yeah, nice one. Thanks, Ravi. And another row. Uh, yes, that, that's that's a little bit better. That horizontal there, and this blue. Uh, some might say you've overdone it, but I, I actually quite like it. That blue that you've repeated there. Body paint, hardly any. Probably taken right out of the tube. Don't add any water to it. Slap it on, and make it nice and loose. Starting with the windows, a little bit of repeated color there. Also a little bit there as well. Excellent. Yeah, very well drawn. Nice sense of brightness. Yeah, well done, Ravi. And Rhonda. Oh, lovely sky. Now just watch a little bit too much the overworking of the building uh, in the background. But it's very well drawn. Uh, excellent boats as well. With the rope, with these ropes, perhaps try and make them straighter. These ropes, not so, not so bendy. It looks like pieces of wire in a way. So try and I would say, Rhonda, with these ropes, these morning ropes, make them straighter. All right. So there, there. Do you see what I mean? Just make them a little bit more sort of rope-like. Yeah, I, I actually quite like the, the sort of opaque -ish, grayish uh what's going on over there on that left hand side very nice you've got a sense of light very simple sky as well it's very well drawn and good job on the perspective well the, the photo we can see you took the photo at a slight angle but we can see what's going on i think you've got you've got these verticals and horizontals just right well done Horonda. Uh, let's just zoom back out and next we are on rosemary very loose. I'm not so sure about this right-hand building there. I know what you're trying to do. Trying to frame that right-hand side, get in the appearance of some sort of a building on there. But I, I don't think it needs it. If we imagine that was removed, or if this, this picture was cropped a bit, I think that might improve it. I love that sky, that, that shape there that you've managed to get with watercolour. Perspective is very good. This is nice. This is so loose in that middle area. Really nice, Rosemary. Yeah. And these boats as well. Minimum of uh, brush strokes to create the scene. Could be in the background building, could be a little bit too dark. The edges could be a little bit too hard. I think if we soften that up a bit, it might push it back a bit more. It, it sort of almost gives the appearance of coming a little bit too close to us. So I would uh, have made that in relation to let me zoom back out in relation to that building, make it lighter and try and make the edges a little bit softer, like Laurie did. Um, Laurie's had a bit of softness on the on the sky there. Uh, almost like you've got a bit of softness there, all right? Look at the, the edge, the value of that corner of the building and the sky. Excellent. Well done, Rosemary. Nice and loose. And Sally. Yeah, I do like this. Let's zoom in on these figures. If, if you put figures in, try not to make them too rigid and have them with a different pose and maybe maybe trying to create a little bit of story. Maybe perhaps a little bit unfortunate having, I'm not sure if that's some of the pencil marks showing around, but I love those figures. They're loose, they're, they're lively. Um, not too detailed, and it, it just gives it just gives a sense of scale putting figures into the scene. I wish I'd done it with mine now on reflection. I wish I could have uh, put some figures on the right hand side, but I think my key side I didn't have as much space on that right hand side as as Sally's got here. Yeah, really well drawn. Uh, Love the maybe a little bit overworked in that area there, Sally. But on the whole, that background is very good. Perspective is very good as well. Again, a little bit overworked at the bottom here. And the front of that boat looks like it's sort of welded into the quayside a bit. So I think, I think what's happening is, 
it's that, that red bit there makes it look as if part of the boat is has gone over that side of the key side. Boats here, very good. Very nice water, lovely sky, but the highlight for me are those figures. The, the idea of bending, the, well, one figure is, is partly bent, the other figure is really bent, and just, just what people would do, they would be walking up and down here and being nosy, having a look inside the boats. Why not? Excellent. Uh, Saro. Now, I uh, bet Saro's photo is um, a little bit darker than the live painting, but we can see what's going on. Lovely sense of light, nonetheless. Good perspective. Really got the feeling of the length of that canal, this uh, waterway. Lovely boats. You've made more of a feature of the boats, perhaps. Um, Get to the right level of zoom. Now, this boat's all right. I was just thinking, could, could they be a little bit further up to the right? Now, I think they're well placed. Lovely water. And you've got the shadows just right as well. Yeah, perfect. Well done. And a bit of reflection of that boat, the back of that boat. Lovely sky. Well done, Sarah. And Sheila. Oh, lovely uh, combination of reds and blues in this one. Now, perspective. Generally, perspective is good. I think we might lose it a little bit on the water's edge on the far side there, Sheila. Uh, with some of these, but they look like they're sloping, sloping up just a little bit too much, I think. Other than that, really good. I would lose that lighter shape there of the boat. Just keep it simple in the background. These boats here uh, on this side of the key side are good. But again, with perspective, it looks like we're looking down a little bit too much. So with, with these boats, if I take this nearby boat, for example, it could be that the far side is like that. And then we've got the back of the boat. And then we've got up like that. So just a little slight adjustment might make you feel as if you're a little bit lower down on the scene like the splattering effect of the key side but that is a lovely red there i would lose that white line as well the corner of the building it might have been in the photo and also that that line these these darker lines here might be just a little bit too dark very nice sky that sky there beautiful the clouds kept it simple haven't mucked about with it bit of wet in wet excellent Thanks, Sheila and Suniti. Yeah, nice effect of the watercolour, Suniti. You've got on the, the, the warehouse in the background. We kind of, we kind of lost the boats. They, they aren't as evident as they, perhaps they could be as regards where they are and also the contrast between the the value of the water and the light hitting the top point. So maybe if they were with yours, if they were moved up here somewhere and perhaps gone a bit darker with the water and then the boat shot a bit more, possibly. But nice loose water. I do like your sky. Everyone's done such really nice skies. Uh, there's been no, no bad skies at all. Really nice. That background kept that simple. Yeah, well done. And Theo, ooh, look at that. The, look how, how having a light value of those background buildings, you really push it back. Maybe it pushes back just a little bit too much, maybe, but I think that is really, really good. Uh, nice sense of depth in the picture. Perspective is brilliant. You've, these, these boats are really good. I actually quite like those far boats, you, you, if you blink, you kind of miss them, but then you can see, oh, there's some ropes and, and they're, they're tethered down and we've got a soft edge to them, a bit of a slightly harder edge on the, on the front there. Excellent. Very, very nice indeed. A good, a good combination of edges and lovely light hitting the surface of the water. Um, Tony. Very bold. 
Good job on the perspective. Beautiful sky again. There might have been a bit of a, I, I reckon there was a little bit of a slope on your board and that's helped you get those vertical streaks in a way. But that sky is fantastic. Oh, look at all that granulation going on there. A few lights as well. Nice. Perspective may not be totally correct on this building. For example, the tops of those rooftops there could be going up a little bit rather than down. So we've got the... building a little bit like that I think that would look better but other than that perspective is very good lovely light hitting the 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 glistening water lovely light there good boats perhaps that building might be a little bit too dark or that 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 thing that this I don't know what it was but that thing there might be just a little bit too light perhaps if that was um, made a bit darker that might 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 give us a bit more continuity when we're going from that building to the background building. What well on Tony and Vivian? Very loose. I like it. This is like I'm trying to remember. I can't 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 remember the style of someone before, but this this has got a very kind of loose feel to a very impressionistic feel. Lovely. Um, that sort of, la you've got a bit of lavender, I think, that, that lavender blue just repeated across the scene. Um, just zoom into those boats. Yeah, with the boats, perhaps just a little bit too much dark paint on the far side of them, but I'm being a little bit finicky now. I, th I think it's a beautiful scene. Very nice, very loose mixture of edges. You can look at that softness there. Well, softness there, there, um, right hand key side as well. Yeah, excellent. Um, right, I think we're on the last one now, which is William. Um, so apologies if I missed out anyone. Just um, email me if you've taken part and I'll give you a, a video critique. Um, sorry you couldn't make the group video. Well, uh, you've made more of a feature of that boat there, would I think that st stands out really well. Good sense of perspective on the scene, and also I think you've spotted those those top extension there, jutting out just a little bit over the edge of the wall. Yeah, excellent. Very nicely drawn. I think it. I'm not sure if it's your photo, but it looks a little bit too of a cooler pink to me. But you've got the values just right. And well done for having a go at those modern buildings on the right. I think the perspective there as well is excellent, um, as is that line up there. And sort of giving, getting a sense of the width of this, the, the, this waterway, the, the, almost the connection of these boats here with the barges on the left-hand side. Well done. So Williams was the last one. If you would like to take part in future workshops, or indeed you can take part in any of the previous workshops, that you can still uh, subscribe to those. You can still uh, take, have a go on those. We've covered so many different uh, scenes in the past, seascapes, landscapes, street scenes. We always do a different, um, different scene every month, or nearly every month there's a different uh, topic. So again, please go up to my Crowdcast site, crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot, or go to my website. Well, there are, there are a couple of websites I've got. I've got timwilmot.com or timwilmotartist.com, or get on my mailing list to get notified of future workshops that uh, I'd love to, if you've not taken part before, love to see you on board. Well, thanks for sitting through and looking through all these attendee paintings. And you can see that they all did a really good job, different styles. When we had a go at painting Gloucester Keys, thanks very much. Catch up with you on the next one.